Hello, hello. I want you all to welcome the most fabulous superwoman I have ever, ever known. This is Dr. Julie Seamers. She is an author, a mother, a grandmother, the patient safety expert. Please, I'm honored to introduce to you not only Dr. Julie Seamers, but my mother. Welcome, please give her a warm, warm welcome. I've been a nurse for over 40 years, but I was shocked to learn that medical error is the third leading cause of death. We all know heart disease is the first leading cause of death, cancer is the second, but are you as shocked as I was to learn about medical harm being the third leading cause of death? You know, doctors and nurses make mistakes. We know they're human. We know that they make mistakes. But I think you'd be surprised to learn what actually happens sometimes. Doctors have been known to cut off the healthy foot instead of the diseased one. Medication errors, the wrong medication is given to patients and they die. And critical test results get missed. There was a young father of two children who was told after his brain tumor surgery, don't worry, it doesn't look like cancer. Well, six months later, when his headaches returned and he went back for a second surgery and they found a tumor the size of the surgeon's fist had grown on his spine, the top of his spine again. They said, oops, we made a mistake. The pathology report got misfiled, we didn't know, but now it was too late. One in four patients in the hospital suffer some kind of harm. Infections happen by the thousands of patients that go in the hospital. Doctors and nurses don't wash their hands enough or they don't wash them properly. A 44-year-old patient in California had abdominal surgery and got four different kinds of infections in that wound. She ended up having nine more surgeries and 11 blood transfusions because of the tissue damage from all of those infections. She went home finally from the hospital, but it took three years for that wound to close. In my um, research for my doctoral degree, I learned many, many stories, but the one that touches my heart the deepest is the mother who was concerned about her son. Lewis Blackman went into surgery to have his chest deformity fixed that he was born with. The surgery went fine, but the following day he started complaining of abdominal pain. And his mother was quite surprised because he had chest surgery, not belly surgery. But her, her concerns were dismissed by the nurses. Oh, he'll be fine, he just needs to get up and walk. The following day, his abdominal pain got worse. And now his lips were pale, his hands and feet were cold, his heart was beating way too fast, and now his belly was distended. And still, his mother's concerns were dismissed. 30 hours after his abdominal pain started, Lewis said for the last time to his mother, it's going black. The code blue lasted 90 minutes, but they could not revive Lewis. What they found on autopsy was three liters of blood in his abdomen. I can't even imagine, as a mother of seven children, how it must feel to lose a child, let alone to a preventable medical error. Lewis had a perforated ulcer from the medications that he was given for his pain. When I was teaching nursing students for 15 years, one of the things that made them the most scared and intimidated was talking to doctors. Y'all can imagine that, right? <laughs> They're kind of scary. So I developed a tool that would help the nurses talk with the physicians and have an assertive conversation, not aggressive. Assertive means saying it with confidence and clarity so that they could get their message across. So this tool that I developed is the cuss words. It's not what you think it is. It's concerned, I'm uncomfortable, I'm scared, or this is a safety situation. For example, you could say to the doctors or nurses, I'm really concerned about my husband, 
he doesn't act like himself. Or I'm really uncomfortable with the amount of pain my son is in. He do, it, this doesn't seem right. Or I'm scared. My husband says he's going to die. Or it's a safety situation. My brother's cast is too tight. His feet look like they're blue. They don't have any circulation and they're cold. But this same tool we as patients and family members can use when we want to discuss these concerns with the physician and the nurses. I say all this because patient safety being the third leading cause of death, it's a crisis and we need to have the tools that we can use to change this. So let's have the confidence to speak up. I give you permission to cuss. Have the confidence to speak up when you're concerned, you're uncomfortable and scared. It does take courage, but we can change the healthcare environment that we're in right now and change patient harm to saving our loved ones from this happening to them. Thank you. Yeah.